Hello people, did you notice the intro? I'm in the process of changing my channel. I've had a few things in my life change recently and I've had to knuckle down and focus even more on my budgeting. So like the rest of the world, COVID hit and I work in a tourist based town. So before I was doing every extra shift I could get my hands on to bank extra money, which helps with the budget and savings. But now there aren't any extra shifts because when the government brought in something called JobKeeper, we only get paid that amount of money. The government pays it to our boss and then we get given it for our, basically for about what we would normally do, not our extra days. And then if we did extra days, it comes out of our boss's money. Uh, so while the shop's not really making any money, there's no extra days. I hope that makes sense. But the government also has another program, which is a social security program called Job Seeker. And those people that are unemployed or like myself, underemployed, can access government funding to help top up what they earn. And so part of the process of receiving Job Seeker payment is that we have to do something that's known as work for the doll. So in my area, I had a choice of activities that I could do for work for the doll, and I've chosen to do digital media, which I thought might help with my YouTube channel. This is why I'm doing this now. And I just thought I'd, I'd bring it to people's attention because there are things that the government put out there to help people it might seem like you're having to do work for the doll and that can be a pain in the butt when you work out how little you're getting per hour for attending. But I'm trying to see it as an opportunity to grow and to create income. So fingers crossed for me. And if you're in a situation like mine, please do seek out these extra opportunities in your area. While I'm at my work for the doll activity, digital media. I have the use of computers, computers with the editing programs already on them, the expensive ones. And I also have access to other participants who have been there longer, who have the knowledge. I don't so much have a teacher for the editing because the digital media activity covers a broad range and it's mostly focused on music and music production but there are other people there that are doing digital media and I can learn from the other students, I guess you'd call them. So I'm going to take up that opportunity and I'm going to run with it. So like the beginning of my intro said, I'm changing my name, the channel name, not my own personal name, but you would have noticed that it said Raleigh, R-A-L-E-I-G-H. That is my official name, the one my mother gave me. I have been using Rali, R-A-L-I, so that people learn to pronounce it correctly and it's easier to spell. So I'm sorry if I've confused anyone with the change of name or even my own personal name, but I am Rali, I am still Rali, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.